My name is Tyson. I'm from the city of Orange in California, and I'm one of the counselors here at MathZoom. Pretty much my role at MathZoom is I cover everything that's the non-academic aspects of the program. We have 10 players who played at uh, Carnegie Hall, and on and on and on. We, so our students are all really well-rounded, not just the math. What Math Zoom Summer Camp is, is it's a collection of very bright math students from all over the world. This year we were proud to have four international students and quite a few U.S. students. And as a counselor, you get a chance to see how all these brilliant students who are extremely good at math come together and how they form bonds and how they interact with one another and the kind of social network they develop within themselves. Would you believe that three of the guys Three of the final four contestants nailed it within 15 seconds. What is the answer? Yes, we yeah. 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 Really impressive. Wait, what's the answer? Uh, what's the last thing? What's the answer? <laughs> well, that's, that's your homework for tomorrow. For me, it was really an interesting experience because a lot of my experience comes from working with younger kids of the elementary age, and the summer camp here is focused on junior high to high school. So it was interesting to me was seeing how this group of students who are all very, very smart and usually top of the class react to one another when they are suddenly in a group of equals. The number becomes five times as big when the units digit is moved to the left hand. So, there's our original number. We're going to take the units digit and make it into the, into the biggest digit. And when we do that, the new number is five times as big. If you're going to be a teacher, you're interacting with kids probably six or seven hours a day. Here you're spending probably 10 to 15 hours a day interacting with the kids. And I mean, there's a lot of free time for yourself and stuff, but it's a, it's a sleepaway camp. So whenever they're not in class, you're working with them unless you're asleep. My favorite part was actually getting to know the kids because as a counselor you're working with the kids pretty much the whole day. The only time you're not working with the kids is when they're in classes. So you're sitting down, you're eating meals with them, you're spending time in the dorms with them, you're doing activities with them and making them pretty much ensuring their safety and acting sort of as a guardian. But because of your proximity to the students, you really get to know them one-on-one. -on -one. People, witness the bad emotion, hiding somewhere in the night. It's uh, quite an interesting dynamic. It's almost like a miniature high school. There's different cliques form, different bonds form. It's just like the, uh, the society in a high school stratified, it kind of comes the same here, although for the most part everybody teaches one of their needs. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. He'd been playing perfectly for six or eight groups. The other team. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to come, you're going to say, hey, look, hey, look, look what Richard's doing. I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd rather sell them at 28 than buy them, is what you're saying. Right, because then you're guaranteed to make money. All right, who here would rather sell them at 28 than buy them at 28? Each one could have a different suit, right? Yeah. So it's like all the different possible suits assigned to each one of them. As a counselor and a teacher, we have a lot of experience with teaching kids more than just the academic stuff. The academic faculty here is amazing and they're some of the best teachers we have. 
Yeah. We're trying to do the online right? But this one is yeah. not. Basically, what you do is you look at the number of permutations with at least k self maps. And what happens? But as a counselor, you have to teach the kids all the social skills that are necessary later in life. How to mediate, how to represent arguments, how to work with another group, how to combine with a group of people you've never worked before and be effective as a group so you can collectively solve problems and win the competitions the teacher set up for you. So I found all that to be quite an interesting experience and really a good learning experience not only for the students but for myself. Are you all team agree? this one step further. I'm going to try to square a four-digit number this time. Now, I'm not going to beat you to the answer on this one, but I will try to get the answer right. To make this a little bit more random, let's go, um, let's go all the way to the back row. If I can get the first four of you to call out a single digit between zero and nine, that will be the four-digit number that I'll square. Six. Six. Nine. Six. Nine. All right. <laughs> Funny play. All right. Let, this will take me a little bit of time, so bear with me. Forty-eight million five hundred sixty-six thousand nine hundred sixty-one. Thank you very much.